Um, we're currently doing some errands. Ayan, nandito kami sa Bunnings. Tama ba itong sinasabay ko dito? But isa siyang hardware franchise or chain ng hardware. Ang gulo. Tapos after nito, pupunta kami sa store kung saan po pwede mong tingnan yung mga fireplace because we're thinking of um, having a fireplace sa aming bahay na pinapagawa. At pupunta din kami sa bahay mamaya after nito para tapusin namin yung ano. We're trying to figure out kung saan yung plumbing, electricity, mga power points, ganyan. Um, we are in the lockup stage na by the way. Kaso wala pa din siyang door and garage door yung bahay. Pero tapos na nila yung roofing. Ewan ko, papakita ko siguro sa inyo mamaya, konti, pag nandun na tayo. The future kitchen, that area. This is my future kitchen, this is our living room. And then, hopefully we get a fireplace over there. Happy Sunday, everybody! But we just got back from our little grocery trip from our local shop. And kasi nagkulang yung grocery namin online. We usually do an online grocery kay Kohl's. And then, wala silang mga gulay kahapon when I did my order. So, ayun. Um, let's try to clean up the kitchen kasi napakalat. This is again my usual Sunday routine. Tidy up the kitchen. And then, I'm gonna go back to editing the vlog for tonight. Mamaya konti pag ganun. Tapos ko nalinisin itong kusina. So, sana ma-enjoy nyo itong montage.
Hey, I'm currently editing my video for this week and I have a great offer from Epidemic Sound. Kung gusto nyo lang naman, lalo na kung gumagawa kayo ng vlogs dito sa YouTube and lagi kayong may copyright claim at para maiwasan nyo din ang strike, ang copyright strike para, you know, iwas gulo. So if you want to take advantage of this great deal, nasa description box ko below, meron akong referral link for you. So you get two months free of Epidemic Sound and 75% off sa subscription mo. So either you do it monthly or yearly, meron kang 75% off. That offer is valid only for 5 days from November 25 until November 29. So please, kung gusto mo mag-subscribe sa Epidemic Sound, use my referral link below. <laughs> Thank you. Balitaan niyo ko, okay? Mamaya. Hey friends, <laughs> wala na akong energy because today is Monday and it's the 14th of November. Kakatapos ko lang mag-work. It's actually 5.19 ng hapon dito sa Canberra. Naisipan ko lang mag-record saglit because someone made a really good comment sa video ko last week. And I hope I can do this for all my videos. Kung iiwan kayo ng comment, I might be able to respond to your question. Uh, so she asked, Kamusta po ang impact ng inflation sa mga migrant these days? So, to answer this question, I guess yung buong mundo is ramdam yung inflation na nangyayari because tumataas yung mga bagay, tumataas yung mga necessities, tumataas yung mga bilihin. And not only that, dito sa amin, tumataas yung interest rates ng mga bahay, ng mortgages. So, we do feel it, and not just for migrants. I think everyone can feel it. Kahit sino siguro na ramdaman yung inflation rate, um, super mahal ng mga grocery ngayon dito. At iba dito sa Australia, and I don't know if it's same ba to sa ibang state, but I'm pretty sure it will be the same. By weekly yung pagbabayad ng bahay dito, limbawa nagre-rent kayo, so you have to pay it. Madaming demand for it, kaso wala masyadong rental places at mataas yung competition ng rental places. Iba din dito kasi pagka naghahanap ka ng mga na apartment, bahay, or anything, they have to approve it. At hindi lang ikaw mag-isa, hindi lang kayo lima or sampo. Minsan, ang dami ninyong applicants for that specific unit or bahay, tapos baka hindi ka ma-approve or ganyan. So, mataas yung competition. So, mahirap talaga. At I hope nasagot ko yung tanong mo. <laughs> Kung hindi man, um, pasensya. But based on my understanding, ramdam ng lahat yung inflation rate. Hindi lang kayo dyan sa Pilipinas yung greatly affected, but also here in other parts of the world, I'm pretty sure everyone can sense and can feel it. Hi everyone. I'll keep doing these vlogs. <laughs> Parang pinag-iisipan ko kung ayoko na bang mag-upload ng vlogs. But they're called vlogs for a reason. Kasi nga, log siya ng daily life mo, or weekly life mo, or monthly life mo. However you want to call it, it's a log. So it's supposed to be like chaotic. It's life. That's what happens unless you planned everything. <laughs> and as for my case, I don't really planned out what I'm going to say. I don't planned out what I'm going to do. But it's very routine what I'm doing every day. Day. 
Um, it's usually just um, yung mga gawain bahay, working, taking care of my dogs. Sorry, but I hope I don't bore you out with that. Pero that's just how my channel is. Pero tingnan natin in the future, maybe I can do something a little bit different. Um, anyhow, meron kami problema dito sa bahay. We currently don't have an electricity. Wala kaming kuryente sa half ng bahay namin. So yun, hindi namin alam kung anong problema, pero sana maayos today. Yung fridge is hindi naka-on. And puno yung fridge kasi nag-grocery kami every Sunday, di ba? So we have meats in there, fish. At um, puno din yung freezer. So baka matapon namin lahat ng nandun sa loob, which is a little bit annoying kasi ayaw na ayaw ko matapon ng pagkain kasi sayang. Kamusta kayo? Today is the 17th of November. It's a Thursday. Hindi ako napag-vlog yesterday, guys. I think it's the day in the week na hindi ako napag-video because meron nangyari dito sa bahay. Hindi naman malala, but there was some technical difficulties. <laughs> Electrical difficulties na kailangang ayusin. Fridge, wala, hindi naka-on, walang microwave, walang dishwasher, wala lahat. Um, so ayun, nag-start siya ng Monday night. I think, and then fixed ng Wednesday morning hapon. Uh, I wanted to say thank you because today I reached 900 subscribers. Yay! Dahil yan sa inyo. Salamat. Salamat sa mga bagong subscribers. Hello, hello. Welcome. <laughs> Ang late na ng welcome. Eh. Uh, sana na enjoy nyo tong mga videos dito sa channel. Magulo yung vlogs ko usually kasi ganyan lang talaga siya, magulo lang talaga siya. I edit it on like, you know, kung paano siya nangyayari on day by day basis. So kung ano yung mood ko nung day na yun nag-film ako, that's it. That's what you get from me. <laughs> Bilang isa akong moody. At um, mag-work ako mamaya konti. Um, it's morning pa lang pala, guys. Mga 8.30 ata na umaga. Mga 8.40 na siguro ngayon. I'm having my coffee in my Starbucks mug. <laughs> My message for the week. Ano ba ang message ko this week? Ma, what should be my message for the week? Um, breathe air and exhale slowly. Breathe air and exhale slowly. <laughs> Wala akong message for the week. Ah, meron akong nakita kahapon na post sa online. I'll share it with you. Hey. So, ito yung post na nakita ko kahapon and I actually posted this sa aking Instagram kasi I wanted to remember it. You may believe that living life to the fullest is seeing every country in the world and quitting your job on a whim and falling recklessly in love but it's really just knowing how to be where your feet are. It's learning how to take care of yourself, how to make a home within your own skin. It's learning how to build a simple life you are proud of. A life most fully live is not always composed of the things that rock you away, but those that slowly assure you it's okay to slow down. That you don't always have to prove yourself. That you don't need to fight forever or constantly want more. That it's okay for things to be just as they are. Little by little, you will begin to see that life can only grow outward in proportion to how stable it is inward. That if the joy is not in the little things first, the big things won't fully find us. So I've saved that in my Instagram because I wanted to remind myself every time na ko compare ko yung sarili ko sa iba, it's okay, where you are right now is exactly where you meant to be. And you know, you should appreciate what you have. Yan, you should enjoy the present. 
um, I like that. I really like that message. So I hope it resonates within you as well. Charing! <laughs> um, yun yung message ng vlog na to. <laughs> Chos! But yes, I hope na enjoy nyo yung mga corny na mga messages sa aking vlogs. But that's just my way of, you know, sharing a little bit of something. Naputo! <laughs> so yun. So it's okay to just, you know, appreciate what you have for the moment. Enjoy the present. At least meron kang napupulot na kahit konting kachorbahan. <laughs> Lagi siyang kontrabida. <laughs> Dinutukso niya ako kasi you know, she, he's teasing me. <laughs> Ayun na guys, mag-work lang ako saglit. <laughs> saglit ba yung mind to fight? Mag-work muna ako saglit. At wala na akong ibang gagawin na ata today. Mag-grocery kami today kasi walang laman yung aming fridge. We have to throw everything away. Um, same sa freezer, walang laman yung aming freezer. But I managed to clean it. Because you know, dapat ganyan tayo na ano, meron na naman dapat akong hugot kasi wag na lang kasi baka sumobra na tayo ng message for the week Charing. isang message lang dapat for every vlog <laughs> pero mapakita ko sa inyo yung fridge malinis siya ayun yung aming fridge walang laman ay nako malinis, amoy vanilla maraming gulay kasi I didn't throw away the veggies kasi hindi naman kailangan then eto yung ano, freezer so, wala siyang laman. Empty. But it's a good time to clean it. Nang empty siya. <laughs> Na-realize ko din na importante talaga yung microwave namin dito sa bahay. Kasi, yan yung ginagawa kong clock. Siyempre, ginagamit pa din namin siya. Pero the main purpose of it for me is clock ko siya. <laughs> Charing! <laughs> Baka ilakad ko yung aso today. I feel bad kapag hindi ko sila nalalakad ng mga ilang araw. I usually walk my dog siguro mga four times a week kung kaya ko. Kapag ka, depende din sa panahon. Kasi pag medyo, medyo mahangin, ayoko silang ilakad ng mahangin kasi I'm scared na anxious ako na baka merong puno, malaglag, may lumipad na branch. Eh, di ba maliliit yung aso ko? So I'm scared. I'm just being a protective mommy. Chari. Joy to the ones who lost their hope. 